I'm Jochen Petri from New World Aquarium and welcome to Amsterdam. Amsterdam to me is, is just a really relaxed, slow, small city which looks really good, I think, and has a lot of places to discover and rediscover over and over again. I'm gonna start off today with something special. Uh, at this bar, the Café Zeezicht, they have what is probably the best apple pie in the world. Um, what I think is the best bridge in Amsterdam. I think it's like the oldest one that's still around. And it has dungeons, which is kind of nice for a bridge, I think. It used to be a prison. And now it also has apple pie. Perfect. There are certain things in Amsterdam which are basically more for the people from Amsterdam themselves and kind of freaks most tourists out. One of them is uh, our Art Nouveau urinals. And yes, people, we use them. No, people, don't take pictures if anyone's using them when you're visiting Amsterdam. And I'm not getting in there now for the camera. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not doing that. That's too cheesy. Well, I was born in Haarlem, which is uh, 30 kilometers from Amsterdam, uh, close to the coast. I already did music when I was in Haarlem, because I started back in 86 when I was 16. I got this machine from a friend of mine, um, just started playing about with him, basically hip-hop. I don't think there was a lot of house around back then. Well, the, the first record I did was uh, under an alias Pallas, which I didn't really use after that because it was me and a friend of mine and that was our first record. And he stayed in Harlem, I stayed in Amsterdam, so it kind of grew apart. And I discovered techno music and I produced on the Ross 154, which is uh, something I picked from a science book. How nerdy can you get? But at a certain point I found out that um, Sharon Stone's self-alleged IQ was 154, so I was like, yeah, let's ditch the Ross, this is perfect. It's a little less nerdy and it just fits to this time. The music scene changed, of course. There's a lot of new people like Moody Man and Theo Parrish coming up, Green Velvet. House music just blew up again, like the third generation of house musicians in the States. And I wanted to start again and do a house project and I guess that's New World Aquarium. In the early 90s, I think house music and techno music was quite big in Holland. And uh, it was really great to be a part of the first generation of house and techno musicians. So after a nice apple pie, I think it's time for some record shopping and where else to do that in Amsterdam than Rush Hour Records. Favorite things in the Rush Hour store besides of course awesome t-shirts are the records. My favorite section, um, our own labels of course, brilliant brilliant records, sorry about that. Um, techno, Detroit, Chicago, European. New releases, a weekly uh, crate we have to dig through, uh, house music, it's just all over the place. Records, buy them, vinyl, yeah, keep it alive. We can go to the other side which has the distribution center and that's where they uh, pack all your stuff, put it in boxes and mail it to a place near you. This is the Rush Hour Cave, where, they, uh, where all the records live before they go to the stores. Little desks and records. So now you see the other side of things. You should know uh, Amsterdam is a beer city. There's actually only one place to really go to not sit but buy stuff to drink. If there's any beer you want, they're bound to have it. If they don't, they'll have it tomorrow. So let's take a look. So if you're in Amsterdam and you want to drink something local, you want to you know, get to know some of the local stuff. Try digging into beer a little bit because there's a lot of breweries going around and there's a lot of bars which are really specialized in local beers. Well, here you have it. The new subway in Amsterdam. And they're drilling from the central, from the north side, under the water, under the city, the historical city center, all the way to the south. It's never been done before. Well, 
not successfully anyway. Let's hope we can go downstairs and see this. This is the main station I think they're building and uh, we're in uh, the main hall. The walls are frozen to keep the, the ground from moving and uh, yeah, they're waiting for the drill to arrive here. It goes really really slowly and just a couple of meters a day to arrive here and that's basically it. A guilty pleasure for now. Somewhere around the 70s, this guy Ferdinand made up a food wall. It's like a snack bar, you can get fried food from the wall. So there's no interaction, no communication. You can go in there, hang by the hatchet, and get your food. They have like five or six different items, and for tourists, it might be a bit weird. For us, people from Amsterdam, this is what we do when we're really hungry and we don't really want to talk or anything. Watch me. Ta da! Fried food. Here we go. Delicious. Spiced meatloaf. This is the perfect thing to go with your beer or beers or more beers. Well, I'm almost done for my view of Amsterdam and the final part I wanted to show you guys is the amazing Vondel Park. We don't get too much sunshine here in Amsterdam, so when we do get it, it gets the people to go crazy, go outside and hang in the park. I saw some friends earlier there, so I think I'll leave you to it. And uh, that's it guys, bye. <laughs>